Here in this movie, we're going to start to take a look at how we can remove the graphic or the logo from the t-shirt. Yet before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about why I removed the logo because this was a significant or important turning point with this project. You may remember that I was interested in creating a character portrait, something that was strong. Well, for me, the logo on the shirt was just too loud. I like the logos in the background. They're subtle. Yet the one on the shirt needed to go. Typically, when you're photographing someone in action sports, you don't remove logos. Logos are really important because the athlete wants to support the brand and the brand wants to support the athlete. Yet here, I knew that I needed to make that change, and it was a risk. But I'm glad that I took that risk because it really paid off, and this photograph was published because the logo was gone. And eventually, the client agreed. So again, it was a good decision. Well, let's then take a look at how we can remove this logo. We'll start off by creating a new layer. To do that, we'll click on the new layer icon, and here we're going to go ahead and just name this shirt-1. Next, we want to select the patch tool. To do that, press the J key and then shift J until you see the patch tool here in the tools panel. Or you can always click and hold down on one of these healing tools and then just select on the patch tool in this way. Now with the patch tool, we have a few options. The options that will work best for what we're doing here are going to be to choose content aware. And if you're using a previous version of Photoshop that doesn't have the content aware option for the patch tool, no big deal. Simply use its default settings and you'll be able to retouch in a similar way. Yet if you do have access to this, you'll want to choose content aware. Next, you'll want to select an appropriate adaptation style. The adaptation style that will work best for this project is very loose. So here we'll go down to the bottom of the menu and choose very loose. Also, be sure to have sample all layers turned on so that we can do all of this retouching or cleanup work on this new layer that we just created. Well, let's zoom in on the picture, press Command Plus on a Mac or Control Plus on Windows so that we can focus in on the shirt. Here what we're going to do is just click and drag around the item that we want to remove. In this case, we'll start off with this part of the graphic or logo. Next, we'll go ahead and click and drag this to new area and then let go. Then we'll go ahead and make a selection of another area. Now, as you're making these selections, if ever you make a mistake, as I did here, I didn't select all of the L in this part of the graphic, well, we can add to this by holding on the shift key and then clicking and dragging around that. Now, if ever you select too much, let's say that we make a selection which is too big, well, you can always remove that by holding on the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on Windows, and then clicking and dragging around the area that you want to remove, in this case, this area, and you can see that it's then removed that from selected area. Next, once you have a good selection, again, click and drag and move that to another area of the image. We're just going to continue to do this. And as you make these selections, what you want to keep in mind is that you're trying to get close to the graphic or logo, but not too close. Again, there was a little mistake, so I'll go ahead and hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on Windows, and I'll click and drag around this while holding down that key in order to subtract that from this patch area. Next step, to just click and drag that to a nice clean area and then to let go. Now, after you've done some patchwork, you'll want to deselect. To do that, press Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on Windows. Now, this is far from perfect, but it's a pretty good start. If we click on this eye icon here, you can see there's the before, and now here is the after. Well, we obviously have some more work to do with this part of the image, so let's go ahead and continue to work on the shirt, and let's do that in the next movie.